all right my dear so this is only a question nothing else but why i am sharing with you this question only why not i am sharing with you any concept before solving this question because you don't you don't require that i mean you need to know of course but this question is uh, uh, you know is an example of a gate i mean what type of question gate really can ask you in the gate examination what type of question really can you can get and you will be confused now how they relate problems with each other i wanted to share with you that's why this question this question will not be lengthy this question will be short around 10 to 12 minutes that's why it will not take i mean you can put your 100% concentration all right so as you can see in this question it state that homogeneous state of stress for a metal part undergoing plastic deformation is they have given the equation okay now we need to understand this equation and here we have to use mohr circle the concept of mohr circle so to solve this question first of all we need to know mohr circle mohr circle right and of course we have used little bit it and then uh, of course it is it we have used uh, some simple stress and strain concept also okay and then we need to know theories of failure because they have also relate this question with von Mises criterion and this criterion is also known as maximum maximum shear stress sorry shear strain energy not stress okay then what we have to find out basically we have to find out shear yield stress okay we have to find out shear yield stress okay so this is uh, this is the thing here we have given so why this question is tough because they have relate here two things I and mean, two, two things you need to know to solve this question right away one is more circle here we have to find out few things then we can use those things here in case of von Mises criterion and then we can only solve the question okay so I hope you understand what I mean to say and why this question is tough because this is interlinking question so first of all we need to know how we can write this table sigma x sigma y sigma z and this is tau x y this is tau x y 0 0 0 0 okay you can write like this also so here as you can see sigma x is equal to 10 sigma y is equal to 20 sigma z is equal to minus 10 and sigma z is known as sigma 3 okay and here tau x y is equal to what tau x y is equal to 5 so by using this by comparing this we can easily find out the value of sigma 1 and sigma 2 because we know that sigma 1 we know that sigma 1 and or we can say sigma 2 is equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus minus root under sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau x y whole square we can put values here so 10 plus 20 by 2 plus minus uh, x minus y okay no doesn't matter because the square is there so 2 is here a square and uh, 5 square so what we got a 30 by 2 15 plus minus 10 minus 10 100 100 by 4 25 and plus 25 so 15 plus minus 50 so what will happen we can write sigma 1 is equal to 15 plus root under 50 and sigma 2 is equal to 15 minus root under 50 so here we got the answer let me share with you 15 plus 50 root under 1 divided by 2 the answer is 22.07 because sigma there should be in mega pascal and here 15 minus 50 to the power 1 by 2 is equal to how much 7.928 mega pascal okay 7.93 you can say 
7.93 okay so from here what we got sigma 1 and sigma 2 that's not the end my dear it's just beginning okay we have just solved the simple part of this question now we have to find out what uh, that is you know yield, uh, shear stress in case of tension and shear stress we need to find out in case of yield shear stress it is known as you know uh, in case of yield uh, that is yield shear stress okay so shear stress okay so we need to come we need to find out here and we need to use the equation which is given by von Mises criterion so that, that equation state that store yt whole square greater than 1 by 2 somewhere it is also known as sigma yt so don't get confused okay and uh, sigma 1 minus sigma 2 whole square sigma 2 minus sigma 3 whole square plus sigma 3 minus sigma 1 whole square as you can see you need to also understand what is sigma 3 i have already shared with you what is sigma 3 okay sigma 3 is minus 10 all right so half sigma 1 minus sigma 2 what 100 okay sigma 2 minus sigma 3 what will happen here just just think about it sigma 2 minus sigma 3 so, so this will become sigma 2 minus sigma 3 okay uh, now okay this will become what 900 something and sigma 3 minus sigma 1 this will become 400 something right and uh, this is here only so what we got here after solving 100 plus 900 right my dear so there is a little bit problem with the formula okay that's my mistake okay so uh, let's go for it so basically what I mean to say here we did mistake that there is a formula that is we need to add also sigma 1 2 square plus sigma 2 3 square plus sigma 1 3 square in multiple 6 okay so from here okay so this is like this from here to here and this is a bit different okay so from here what we get okay this is root under okay and uh, after root under okay I have to remove this one so because I am sending this 2 to here so this will become what 1 by 2 that is known as root under so right after this what we are getting 100 900 400 1400 okay plus here what is sigma 1 2 basically sigma 1 2 is 5 let me share with you sigma 1 2 sigma 1 1 sigma 1 2 is 5 so this will become 5 square what is sigma 2 3 here sigma 2 2 sorry sigma 2 1 sigma 2 2 sigma 1 2 3 what 0 so this will become 0 square now what is 1 3 that is 1 1 1 2 sorry 1 3 this is uh, this is you know 1 1 1 2 1 3 0 so this is becoming 0 multiple 6 okay so what we got here and all these values must be divided by 2 so what we got here 25 into 6 150 plus 1400 is equal to this much by 2 is equal to itna this much and divided by 2 is equal to what we are getting basically tau yt is equal to 27.83 it's in mega pascal okay I hope you uh, till now you caught what we caught from this uh, from this uh, uh, what I can say from this uh, numerical problem okay so we got how much 27.83 now what we know what we have to find out that is tau y s s yield shear stress so the formula for finding out yield shear stress is tau y s s somewhere it is also known as uh, some people say tau y so tau y ss is equal to uh, tau yt yield stress shear and yield shear yield stress in tension divided by root 3 so the value we got here we should divide that value uh, by root 3 that means uh, root 3 so 3 1 by 2 okay so 
what we how much we are getting basically here okay root 3 so oh there is something mistake I think so what you got here 27 point 83 divided by 1.73 okay that's right 16.086 megapascal we're getting answer here and what is the answer here 16.086 so this is the answer so b is the right answer for this question now probably you have understand how is it important to go through all concepts of the topic in its any subject that's why we can solve problem in gate this is not a matter of subject even sometimes we have seen they relate with the inter subject questions inter subject formulas to find out answer i hope you understand what i mean to say and thanks for watching. See you soon in my next video. Bye-bye.